Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to yet another Pygame tutorial video and another part of our little mini-series of drawing buttons with Pygame. Where we left off, we've got the button. It's interactive in the sense that when we hover over it, the button lights up as if it could be clicked or something can be done with it. And now what we want to do is talk about how might we put text on the button. So we can actually treat the button very much like we've treated our game display when we throw text to it. Um, and again, like I said in the last video, we will build a button function, have no fear. But for now, I just want to show you guys the logic that we're kind of putting into it, and then we'll throw it all into a button function. So uh, let's go ahead and get started here. So right now, we're just basically lighting up the green button, um, and then we'll throw text to the green button, and then we'll do everything to the red button afterwards once we have an actual button function. So to put text on our button, how might we do that? Well, all we need to do is we need to know the, the coordinates of our button, and then how wide is the button, how tall is the button, and divide that all by two, and center the rect of our text object um, on that. Done. Same thing that we're doing with uh, putting messages to the game display. So, easy enough. We'll go ahead and do that. Again, I do recommend that eventually you put, like, up at the very top where we've got all of our constants, have some, like, small text, medium text, large text. That way you don't have to redefine it every time. Um, but for now, we'll just redefine it. Um, to put up small text, I guess it's a good idea to just walk through it again anyways. I'm sure we could probably find this in one of our um, things, like this probably. Um, but we'll run through it one more time just to solidify it. Anyways, after all, we are trying to teach Pygame. So, uh, right here is what we'll do it. So we're going to say small text, and small text is going to equal pygame.font.capital F font. And then what font do we want to use? We'll just use uh, free sans bold.ttf. And what size do we want it? Um, we'll make it 20 for since it's small. Then we know that text uh, surface and text rect is going to equal text underscore objects. And then what do we want the message to be for the green button? And since it's like a racy game, why don't we have it say go? Green means go after all. And then um, the text objects, again, that's a function we built. So we come up here. And this is our text objects. We've got text objects, text, and font. And then it returns the surface and then the rectangle. So we'll come down here and go. And then we throw in the um, font, basically. So that's small text. Now we need to center this. So how do we do that? Well, this is going to be text rect.center equals and this is a little more confusing, especially because we're hard coding it, but don't worry, we'll, we'll non hard code it in a little bit. But basically, we center it on the X first. So how do we center the X? Well, that will be 150. So that's the X coordinate plus um, how tall was this again? Or I mean, I'm sorry, how wide was this again? Um, well, it's 100 pixels wide, right? So that would be 150 plus, hey, 100. But then half of that would be what? Well, 100 divided by 2. So that's the center of our, I'm sorry, the center of our x. And then how do we center um, the y? And in fact, let me case this, like that. So that's our x. This is x, comma. Now how do we center y? Well, we know it starts at 450. And then it's 50 pixels tall. So plus 50 divided by 2. And that is how we will center the um, y. Let's just check uh, the parentheses there. Everything closes off, so that's good. And now all we need to do is go uh, game uh, game display dot blit. What do we blit? The text text surface um, text surf rather, and then text rect. And that should center uh, go over our button. So we'll save and run that real quick. And sure enough, now we have go over our button. And it's still slightly interactive as we hover over it and all that fun stuff. Cool. 
So we've got that going for us. We've basically defined um, everything we need. We just, the only thing remaining now is when we click the button that it does something. And I think I'll save that for once we actually create the button function. So in the next video, what we're gonna do is go ahead and create a button function. So uh, check that out. And as always, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support, the subscriptions. And until next time.